Hello, fellas! I believe you are ready for your daily dose of skill, and today we are going to play with one to one. And, fellas, uh, before everything, uh, if you are enjoying the video, if you are enjoying this channel, if you are having a blast, remember to motivate us with Kyler's by smashing that like and in the same time by subscribing the channel. I see you mother truckers, many of you are not subscribed, how dare you. Okay, when we have this out of the way, now we can go to the real humor and we can have a real fun. Now, look. I never ever thought I'm going to say that, but I'm playing better with 1 to 1 than 430U. This is an average performance with uh, um, 1 to 1, 5060, right? You see this over there, right? 5060. 430U, 4859. Average damage on 430U, 3.8 thousand plus 1.2 thousand. With a 1 to 1, I am playing for 3.6 thousand and 1.7 thousand. It's not a joke, fellas. I'm playing better with a 1 to 1 for some reason. I don't know how, I don't know why, and uh, yeah, that was one stream session. Uh, hopefully, we will continue like this, right? As majority of you know, I'm playing across two servers. I'm playing in L server and in Rue server. In L server, I have four tanks left to get Mark of Excellence, and none of them I want to play with. There is a Chieftain 279, Kampanzer, uh, whatever tier. Um, uh, tier 9 uh, ranked battles reward and there is a cavalier tier 5 shitter in Rue server I have Everything around me and I can do whatever I want So I pretty much started this challenge and I am getting up to 100% of the mark of excellence currently working on t57 and currently working on one to one and It's not only I'm playing with the higher tiers. I'm playing from the tier 5 shitters um, up to the um, tier 10 shitters and we recently market 260 up to 100 percent 277 up to 100 percent m60 up to 100 percent and so on and you might wonder skill what is what did, what is it giving for you and i can answer into your question big internet pp Let's go into the battle with our big PP. <clears throat> uh, for real, it is just a challenge for me, right? You are not getting anything for 100%. Maximum use what you can get, you can paint your barrel in the pixels is with a third mark of excellence, which is 95%. Other than that, everything is, it's becoming way harder than to get third mark of excellence. And if you ever third mark the tank and you want to check it out, try to go for 100%. You will see how much harder it is. Because for me, majority of the tanks third mark of excellence is not a challenge anymore. I want to something harder. And now while saying it's not a challenge anymore, meanwhile, I'm playing with a chieftain and I'm crying like little peeled banana. Here is my peel. It's just how it goes. Anyways, what do we want to do right here? So first map which we are getting is Ruinberg, right? Um, I am wondering what the flying F I supposed to do over there because there is a couple of options. I could try to go here, but I don't really trust um, this armor as wrong as it sounds. So what I'm going to do, probably I'm going to play the safe. Uh, um, I will take the safe option right here. And by the way, we are playing with the one to one. We played with this vehicle like one years ago or so. And we are remaking quite some content with the tier 10s because the quality difference was just massive, right? And currently quite quality is so much better um, and it just needs to be done and at the same time look at the bright side you can experience those vehicles once again together with me so I made this decision to go over there right I thought yeah maybe it's going to be worth it and now I do not regret what I, uh, what uh, kind of decisions uh, what kind of decision I made over there the main reason why I do I do not regret it pay attention where our team is playing all our team is going into the city right so this is a quality lemming train and I was thinking about either taking this position or either going somewhere else but as you can see boys and girls um, we made what we made it's okay chill relax take it easy um, I am feeling completely fine in this position over there, but Octo! <laughs> I 
I hate when people doing this with a passion, okay? I truly dislike it and this is like uh, um, messing messing the gameplay at, at its finest, right? Now this 140 have this position and he simply don't give a flying F right there and I can't blame him, right? But when Jack Pizza will hit him for 1000, he is going to change his mind. So what we are going to do right there, we are going to get ourselves some hits for obvious reasons and we will try to play over there. But in the same time, like I said before, this 140 have this position which is super annoying for us, right? As you can see. By the way, with the hits of this tank, we can um, we can pretty much penetrate um, Bobject upper plate, which is making a huge help for us, right? That's what we want to see. And in this kind of situation, in this kind of play, boys and girls, there is only one option how we can play the game, and I'm not joking right here. It is to um, obviously spam the hit and uh, just to get as much use as we physically and possibly and uh, all sorts of things can do, right? Um, and I truly mean it. Once again, boys and girls, in this kind of situation, our lemming train is destroying everyone in their way, but like literally everyone. So um, there is a couple of options. Either we will keep up with our lemming train and either we will, uh, we will get some kind of use or either we will simply uh, not get anything and this is going to be the end of the story, right? Which is very, very possible. Um, as you can see, our objects are making like massive pressure. Our objects is leading this charge over there. Um, so all we need to do, we need to follow them for obvious reasons. By the way, this guy is a dead meat very, very soon. I'm trying to hit him. Luckily, we managed to do that. And now, fellas, um, all we need to do, we need to deal with this IS-7 and remaining forces over there. Um, once again, I wish to say um, we could get more use over there, but the answer is we couldn't, okay? And we couldn't get more use right there just because enemies had no team or alternatively our team was simply better than enemy team was, right? So yeah, all good. Another into the butt, very, very nice. And the next victim which we are looking forward is this 50B or this Leo. I could hit the Leo, but the shot is very, very hard. But you know, since one to one have a, um, a very good gun handling, obviously I'm being sarcastic right here we manage to hit this guy now i'm aiming for this mother tracker beautiful we manage to eliminate him from the game and all we need to do we need to find the sterva where a sterva is hiding yet if i need to guess where this mother tracker is i wouldn't guess because i have no bloody clue meanwhile the ebr is trying to run i'm trying to pray for him and that was quite bad shot meanwhile a sterva killed tvp what that basically means a sterva should be somewhere nearby right that's what we want to see, Esterva, where are you? If I need to guess, he's right there, yeah. Because this is pretty much only one position where he could be. And as you can see, he's right there, that's very, very nice. All we need to do, we need to craft the side angle for this guy, and we need to shoot him once, and we need to ram him for a bit more damage. Here we go. Here we go. And why people are saying 1 to 1 is a bad tank? Tell me, why people are saying 1 to 1 is a bad tank? It's amazing. It's glorious. It's bloodyful. It's Chinese art. Mwah! Amazing. Okay. In this battle, we was relatively lucky right here. And uh, yeah, obviously, we got quite some use. We played well, as good as we could in this kind of situation, right? Um, but we had a winning team. With a losing team, the situation would be completely different. I would cry in the corner and I would say, Wee! That's what, uh, this is pretty much what I would do. Anyways, beautiful battle, good score damage-wise. Obviously, quite a bit of gold spam, but um, not much what you can do in this kind of situation, right? Anyways, let's go for a couple of more games with uh, beloved one to one. Um, obviously, fellas, 430 is better tank, but you know what I'm doing differently with the one to one than I'm doing with a 430? Um, you? Answer is very, very simple. With the one to one, I am playing safer. I am trying to think more. With 430, you. <laughs> I'm going in front and I'm usually taking one for the team. Well, I can't say it's weak or something by any means. No, it's not. But, uh, you know, when uh, when you are a special one, no one uh, can uh, save you in a way. So here you go. <clears throat> As Lithuanians uh, would say, Durnir Bajnichi Musha. 
It's your mission to figure out uh, what did I said. Good luck, fellas. Good luck. Mm. Okay, what do we want to do? What do we want to do, fellas? My main mission in this battle is going to be to go over there, right? Uh, we will try to play in the heavy line, I assume, because I... The thing is, this is very, very complicated situation for us, my lovely friends. This is extremely complicated situation. Why so? Um, the answer is extremely simple. As you can see, there is not many heavy tanks over there, right? So the main battle might be on the field, right? But how we could get the most use of all this? This is the main question right there, boys. This is the main question. Okay, what we noticed right there, we noticed that Mr. Bobject is uh, uh, playing around this area. That's not horrible information for us. That's in fact very, very good. There is only one artist, so I kind of want to, I want to be more aggressive over there a bit. By the way, our lemming train over there, holy bananas from banana land, this is insane. Can you imagine if we would spot a bushwankers over there, what would happen? Those bushwankers would cry in the corner and they would die. In fact, I think I might do this. I might do this, boys and girls, but first things first. What do I want to do? I obviously want to um, take this position over there and I want to start dealing with this 5120, right? That's kind of important. By the way, someone is sniping from this position over there. I wouldn't act surprised if that would be Esther. Now we are over peeking here just to hit him once and now we are going back. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know they have someone over there. Not a big surprise, right? Wait for it. Now, you see this IS-7? This IS-7 is a dead meat in approximately 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 now. Beautiful. We eliminated this guy from the game, that's what we needed. And remember what did I said about the Bushwanker, Esterva? Esterva, it is. Hi, Schneid. We can overmatch him and we don't need to aim that well for this guy in order to do that. So that's great stuff. How about if we would join our fight against this um, Centurion action shit, right? Schneid to the side, too bad I did not manage to penetrate him, but that was my fault for obvious reasons. And now what we are going to do, we are going to um, deal with this AMAX 5100. And the main reason why I'm going to deal with this guy, because he is currently on very, very deep reload, right? And by saying I will deal with him, I'm saying I'm going to take 700 for the team because I'm a bit special right there. And it's, co it's okay, fellas, it's okay. I know this guy is sitting over there. You know this and I know this now. But it's completely fine. Since we have the flanking positions over there, now we need to help our team more right so first of all this guy is dead and obviously our main goal over there is going to be to eliminate the guns for obvious reasons right boys and girls we need to eliminate the guns by the way he is stock he have 300 alpha damage gun which is which is um very very weak for a tier 9 right it is just simply weak but it's not over for us, it is only the start to be fair with you. So now, right here, we are simply waiting for it. I would love to spot this mother trucker over there, but it's very, very complicated stuff and I would rather not to risk it for the biscuit to get completely destroyed for my stupidity, right? We want to be a bit more smart. We want to think what we are doing. And here we go, Starway sitting in this area over there, this guy spotted me, not a big deal. And we know he is down to 2 shotable for us and, I'm, and I am down to 3 shotable for him. My position is still here, I am having advantage over there. You might wonder, but skill, why do you have advantage over there? First of all, our art is banging this guy, second of all, he might die right now. Obviously, the gun handling of this vehicle can sometimes betray you, but it's okay. I am feeling so damn well, it's insane. And he is dead. Bloodful. Okay, all we need to do now, we need to figure out how we need to approach this uh, object 268 over there, right? That's what we need to figure out. Also remember, the pattern is sitting right there and I would love to outspot him, if obviously it's possible. Wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit, and slowly but surely we are trying to figure out how to approach this 268. Although, you know what, I don't want to approach this 268 and I can explain you why. We do not really have a support over there, okay? 
This position which we have is not bad by any means, but I simply don't want to approach him. It's simply not worth a hustle, it's not worth my time. So instead of going um, for this guy, actually, you know what is the funniest thing of all this? I don't really think I can uh, I can escape from here. Never mind. We need to stay. Uh, we need to sit still in this position over there because th there is no alternative option, boys and girls. I simply can't escape, and I lost way too many hit points to try to relocate over there. Right. So, what will happen in the near future? Right. If I need to predict. This object 268 might be very brave. Good. Please don't high roll. Okay, beautiful. Now, in this kind of situation, fellas, we are going to enjoy our object meal, okay? This is looking very, very, very delicious. It's like ruski dinner for us. That's just beautiful. That's just amazing. And I knew that things could go in this way, so I'm not even acting surprised, right? I predicted this kind of stuff. He might go on us ham, right? And what we are saying right here, buy a turret. Buy a turret, mother trucker. Good, very good. What do we need to do now? We need to wait for a couple of more seconds, right? And Esterva is going super aggressively. Not a big deal because I can dance with him forever and ever here. It's not easy for him to eliminate me from the game, believe me. This is actually a very hard thing to dig me out of this position. Now the question is, can we deal with this Mr. Patton and where exactly this Mr. Patton could sit? Hmm... I'm trying to figure out is the pattern is in those bushes over there and apparently he is not because I'm not even getting spotted or maybe he's sitting in the bad bush over there, doesn't matter. What do we want to do now fellas? Our job is over right there. We have a very very good performance already, everything is fine. What one to one has what other tanks don't in a way um, is alpha damage but obviously when 430U came into the game, 430U outmatched this vehicle um, in every single possible uh, case scenario, right? Um, 430U has have um, better um, gun handling or close for having a, a better gun handling than this vehicle has um, although this tank is quite derpy gun handling wise as wrong as it sounds right anyways what I'm trying to say right here is um, 430U, my lovely friends, is not even close for being a great tank okay I want to be bloody honest with you it is not great vehicle okay Good. I want to reach this bush over there. Great. Okay, since we are sitting in this bush, all I need to do, I need to wait until this pattern is going to get spotted because eventually he will. I could try to risk it for the biscuit right here and to shoot him um, on this corner, but this could be extremely, extremely risky stuff to do because if I miss, um, I might die. But you know what? I am feeling uh, kinky, fellas. So how about we are shooting for this guy and the starva is in the back, so I need to move and I'm dead. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Okay, that was bad. What I did wrong, I did not play aggressively enough against the pattern and the star was simply uh, shit on me from the back over there, right? That was my mistake. Oh well, mistakes is happening, no complaints, no regrets. I mean, I wish I would make this kind of mistake every single time with a 4.2 thousand damage and 300 assisting damage, right? No complaints, no regrets. Second battle, this could be, this battle had a potential, but I throw with it in the end right here. But once again, it is how it is. I deserve it, everything what I got. And um, let's wait until this battle will end and we will go for another one, shall we? See you in a second. And we are back, boys and girls. You know what? Our team managed to win this battle and this is great. This is just glorious. This is amazing and I am super duper hyper turbo happy. I did not throw with this battle in the end of the day. Very beautiful. Okay, so we managed to pick up four kills, which is amazing. I am extremely happy with that. Although 
the end was very debatable what I did right there. But enemies messed up in the end quite a bit right there. They went super aggressively and they took one for the team. Anyways, remember the blind shot which I shot into the 268? I hit it. So we managed to get 4.6 thousand damage and 300 assisting damage. Great. We are top by damage. We are top by experience. I'm super happy with the score. Very, very nice. So you know what? Last one. One to one shine for us like a donkey ass. Let's go for one more. I am excited, I know. That's weird, I am. I can be excited about the tanks like one to one, but I am kind of enjoying playing with this vehicle. And once again on the Monday when I played with this tank and I'm pre-recording this uh, video on Tuesday, um, what is happening boys and girls, I actually truly enjoyed myself while playing with this vehicle, which is for me, it is a rocket science because uh, once again, knowing them one to one boys and girls, I never ever thought uh, I said I could enjoy it. Obviously by any means, I'm not uh, suggesting, oh fellas, uh, buy one to one, you will have a blast. No, it's very awkward tank to play with, no gun depression, no armor, gun handling can be pile of caco. Um, but overall, the things is going well for us, what can I say? Who could ever thought and who could ever expect that, right? And once again, we are playing in the root server, so this could influence too, because games in root server is more equal than in L, uh, plus there is less gold spam, at least what I noticed, so overall, experience in the root server is so much better to play, it's insane. Um, so yeah, and this is the main reason why I'm using Anonymizer, and my name is TNG51. This is my name. Um, and you might wonder, skill, why the bloody F you are using the anonymizer in the root server? Because Russians do not know who I am, so I don't need to show my name and say, hi, look at me. In the server, people wants to meet me in the battlefield, people wants to say hi, so I don't want to take this opportunity from you fellas. But in root server, I just don't care. So yeah. Um, what do we want to do here boys and girls? I believe we are going to start this um, battle from the typical position over there, right? And we will try to smack the Progetto right into his face, if he's going to peek right there. This map is called um, um, You Push, You Lose or Shit Field. It's up to you how you are going to call this map. Um, it's very, very far away from being decent map in my opinion and I truly don't, uh, don't like it, right? Um, but it is how it is, we can't change it and we just need to play where we can, uh, right? And obviously alternative option for me would be to block this map, but I do not block maps. And the main reason why I do not block maps, my lovely friends, is very, very simple. Um, I prefer not to block it so I will know what is the problems in the maps. For example, why shit field is bad, um, because it's push to lose map in a way, right? Uh, and if you are going to push earlier than you should, uh, it's going to be game over for you. Um, at least usually that's how the things is happening. And the team which is uh, which is making the most mistakes, they are losing the game. Nothing unusual right there, right fellas? Okay, what do we want to do? This is the question. And once again, in this game, boys and girls, it's very, very very hard uh, to craft enough use for us. I can promise you that. When it's hard, it's hard. And I'm saying in this kind of situation, it's definitely not the easiest mission for us, right? What we noticed right here, STB, Schnei in the face of STB for 450, that's very, very good. And now we are kind of trying to escape, but not really. STB is once again over there, doesn't matter. How about if we would smack this light tank over there? What do you think about that, boys and girls? So we are going up and we will Schnei into the face, 440, that's good trade for us and he shit his pants over there he's not very happy he dropped it down um, and he abandoned very very powerful position that's very very good thing fellas so in this map boys in this situation patience is going to be the key for us right we want to be as patient as possible uh, if we want to get enough use for ourselves although enemy team is already kind of melting in a way right Anyways, uh, Amo X50B is getting spotted and he's getting slaughtered right there and our team is making a hardcore pressure already. So that pretty much means either we will go in front or either we can go and F ourselves, right? This is pretty much the case. Um, STB 
played super cool down here that was very very good thing what he have done over there and i can imagine only one thing and that only one thing is to make hardcore pressure before it's too late right so we are going aggressively for this guy it's completely fine i and but i have only one hope don't let me on fire beautiful he did not let on, us on fire and this game is over already four minutes battle skill you said that the the rue server is more equal the new server you said battles are longer take your words back you mother trucker well fellas sometimes it happens right and um there is uh, there is battles which is um, poorly balanced in a way and so on so on and you know what we can't change it and overall this map is so damn not no bueno it is insane in my eyes this is one of the worst uh, maps in the world of tanks right but once again that's only me and here you go this is the situation um in this battle we barely managed to get 1.8 thousand but you know what i'm very very happy with this score why am i happy with this score it's simple uh, this is realistic um, this is realistic um, situation in this map you push you lose in a way right um, so that's unfortunate but it is how it is um, and in some situations you simply can't craft enough use right there right so once again everything is fine even though that was shitty ass performance i'm still happy with it because i know exactly what i have done and what i could do better although pay attention um, into the damage of this battle the maximum person which made the top player by the damage is 2.4 so our team um, um played very 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 equally right in a way anyways and after Fellas, boys and girls, and after three battles, we managed to get solid 4,000 flat damage, which is insanely good score, in my opinion, for one-to-one, -one. and we managed to get quite some assisting damage, which is 200. Not too much, but it's okay. Um, three out of three victories, and this is one-to-one -one in action. So, boys and girls, feel free to... Let me know what do you think about this vehicle, when last time you have seen it and I, I probably think the comment section is going to be SKILL! One to one is a big pile of... <laughs> That's what I am expecting to be fair with you. Anyways, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support, your kind words in the comment section down below. Uh, recently, I am not liking the videos, but I'm reading them when I am in the in the bed, right? Before I'm falling asleep. Uh, and um, yep, I am very, very happy and I'm truly blessed for having you together with me. Thank you so much, fellas. I hope I, uh, I can make... Um, your gaming experience a bit better or overall i can give you some good uh, um, mood for your day-to-day -day life thank you so much for watching see you next time skill is out fellas peace